Greetings guys, gals, and Godmaster Gamers alike. I'm a Grinning Gamer and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. And I saw this dude sitting here, he's got a little red exclamation point, so he's got a side quest. Hello, my brother in research, I was waiting for you. That's right, I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here. Wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. I'm only one Hylian and this, alas, is not one a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. I mean... What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher? You're just some guy? I see. Okay, I'll have you know I am not just some guy. So few people come through here, I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I've gone to... Can't they send one person up with my monolith research? So... Did you hear that? Sir, you were speaking aloud. Scrub that from your brain. It's not meant for public knowledge. If you were from the Zonai survey team, I would tell you about it, all that I've discovered so far, but you're not. So, I can help out, I guess. Appreciate the offer, but it's really not allowed. Then again, though he may not be a researcher, he does look, have, have the look of an adventurer to him. I would agree. Even if I knew nothing about Link as a character, he looks like an adventurer right now. Full spelunking gear and everything. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I am appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's see what these secrets these ruins are hiding. Do go on. We can dive right in. Start out by, sh start out by showing you my research that I have, what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. Oof. Oh, I thought that somehow these woods had turned to be dark again. Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised surprised by this discovery. Okay. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the owl protected by many dragons. To the owl protected by many dragons. Aren't you surprised? Huh. Right, right. The Zonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Zonai script. But can you but you can read the inscription on the monolith? That means it's written in Hyrulean. Oh, that's because it's written in Hyrulean. Though these ruins appear to be in Zonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hyrulean. Oh, Zelda put these here, didn't she? Zelda definitely put these here for us in the past. Okay. It's just a hunch, but your boss's hunch. So, the owl protected by dragons. Okay. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. Okay. There was a small ring of dragon head statues somewhere, wasn't there? Ominous place. Oh! Thundra Plateau? The six dragons. Yeah, that's Thundra Plateau, isn't it? The owl protected... Hold on. The owl protected by dragons. That's not here, is it? This is the place where there was previous Azonai ruins in Breath of the Wild. The owl protected by dragons. Are we talking about the bird statues in... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold on. So, the second one... Is almost certainly th where is it? Where is it? Thundra Plateau, because right there there was the six statues in a circle, six statues in a circle. Oh wait, no, there were four. Were there four? The six dragons. Hold on. Uh, let me look at that again. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl protected by six dragons. Oh man, this is going to take forever for me to figure out. Or is it simply talking about in here? Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's actually here in the ruins, because here's an owl. Owl protected by six dragons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this it? Is this it? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven here. I mean, it couldn't hurt to try. Um, so stand here and then Tulin? Is this it? Oh! Something's happening! So this was it! Cool! Oh! Nice! So this was it! Nice! So this is like just basically rewards for getting the things? It's sapphires. Alright. Sure, why not? Uh, which means that the other ones are also here. So we're looking for... What was the other one? Uh, Six dragons. The sage of water in the presence of the six dragons. So we're just looking for a clearing with... Oh, there's some constructs about. Twas not aware. All right. Fellas, you want to you wanna deal with this? There's a McDude guy. Anybody want to anybody want to take a, a crack at it? Anybody but me? Is that a no? Where All right. Well, since you guys took so long, I guess I have to fight him. There we go. Y'all took too long. They didn't get a single shot off those two guys. Oh, well. All right, so... Six dragons, six dragons. We gotta find the six dragons. The owl one was easy. Oh! Well, this is another platform. This is another one of the presented to the thing. But there isn't anything here. You... You need to reach your friend? You need to reach your friend? You need to reach your friend? Yeah. I'm this close to dropping you into the bottomless swamp, but I'm not going to because that would be a not nice move. Wait. Ooh, I just saw another um, cherry blossom tree. Right? Is that what I see? Where, where, where was it? Where was it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's another cherry blossom tree. Where? That's up here? I guess. Oh, I don't remember this road through here at all. This is a brand new road. Oh, that's right, because they mentioned that the, the because all the lava's cooled. What? That's cool. I haven't really looked at the map of Death Mountain at all. Everything does look different. No wonder everybody's confused as to what the what the goal is and stuff. All right, let's mark this with a dude. Cool. I will come back to you later, maybe. So, this is an ooh. Let go. Stop. 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 Stopping. All right. So, this is another presentation platform. But I don't know what it wants me to do here. So I will assume that that is not it. Um, there's a dead tree in the middle there. The presence of the six dragons. I would assume that this is another one. There's more ruins here at the very least. Um, hmm. Some of these are ever means. I can almost guarantee it. Nope, it's literally just a dead grove of trees. Oh! Here's another statue. Hmm. Where are the remaining things? Because we know that one of them is the one we're looking for. And then the other one will be yet another. That we are going to get eventually. That's a, that's a big old dragon head. Fell over. Oh, there's another construct. So there's two on each side is what it looks like. Oh, there's a captain there. Oof. Yeah, this, this side seems to be much more inhabited. 
Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, could you guys, like, fight him? Can you guys fight him? And... There we go in! Flurry rush for the win! He is dead. Cool. A soldier construct three. Nice. And then... There was another dude... Elsewhere. Honestly, the enemies aren't all that dangerous in this area. Thus far. Oh, it's another soldier. Alright. And when they do the spin attack, it's like prime time for going in and walloping the crud out of them. Give me the things. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to spend so much of the beginning of this episode just exploring these ruins. Okay, so... Where does it want me to go? We need more... We need more height. To see what's going on here. But I don't want to take the tower up, because that's a whole nother bundle of... Oh. Oh. Hold up. Yes, because this is... Yeah, in the presence of the six dragons. This is it. Side on. Is this it? Is that all I needed to do? That's not it, right? I, I mean, I used the power. Oh, I just had to charge it up a little bit. Because I used it once, and that apparently was not good enough. My bad. Well, if the last one was any indication... The last one gave me sapphires, so I'm going to guess that this one gave me rupees? It's going to be rupees, topaz, and then I don't know what the, the last one's going to be. If it's something dumb like amber or opal, I'm going to be disappointed. There's an octorok over there in the water. Topaz? Opal. Well, that explains that. And those are the only two that we can... Did he, did he get him? No, he didn't. That Octorok is still there. Oh, well. In that case... Oh, there's more constructs over there. A good amount more. Ooh! Shrine! Uh, we need to go that way anyway, because I want to get on top of the hill. So, actually, let's just... Let's teleport back to the tower, because walking through these ruins takes long enough. By the time the thing loads us over there, that'll be all the time it takes for us to get to the middle anyway, just by walking. So we'll take the tower up into the sky, dive into the hole, see if we can't find ourselves a light route. If we can't, like if we're just falling, falling, and there's no sign of light route, uh, then we'll just teleport back to the tower and explore the sky. Yep, because that, that is so easy to glide to. That is 100% what I want to focus on today for the most part. Oh! Oh! And there's the Master Sword. But that's the last... That's the thing is, that's the last of the cutscenes. So I don't want to get that one now. Oh, whoop. Cool. Continue with that, Tulin. Oh, man, I'm so high up. Uh, one more gust from Tulin, and then we'll just pancake ourselves straight into that hole. And... Whoosh. Yeah, Sidon can't do anything up here. All right, here we go. Uh, th wait, this is the hole, right? Yes. Oh, we're we're too far. We're too far. We need to back up a little bit. Uh, absolutely gonna plummet to our deaths. Tulin's like, um, you sure about this? And I'm like, I have no idea. Are you sure this is going to work? <laughs> I have no idea! Oh man, this is bad. This is so bad. 
There's a hole here, right? Okay, good. For a second there, it appeared like there was no hole, and I was like, um, problem! Drennan Highlands Chasm. That's a lot of Poe's directly below us. A lot of Poe's. A lot of Poe's. Not a lot of light root. I don't, I don't see any light root. I'm scared. I'm scared. That's... Is that light root? Oh. Oh, no. I don't see a light root. I don't see a light root at all. I am very scared. There is no light root. There's light over there. That's light in the distance. Oh. That is not light root. That is, that is an encampment. That is enemy encampment. Please tell me there's a light root down here somewhere. Obsidian frocks? Why is there obsidian frocks? Nope. Backing out of that immediately. I was excited and then I wasn't because there's a frocks that I couldn't see in the pitch black darkness because there was no light. Because there was no shrine. Ooh, we saw light in the distance, though. What do you, what do you think that light in the distance was? Because there was obviously the... There was, like, an encampment down there. There was an encampment, but there was also... Um, a light farther in the distance to our southeast. That looked like it actually belonged to a shrine. I'm trying to think of where... The, ooh! Where that would be. Can you give me a whoosh? Give a little whooshy. Give a little whooshy. Eh. Cool. It's another find the crystal, which I was expecting. Cool. Oh, that's a lot of seagulls. That's just regular seagulls, right? Uh. Uh. No emonies? No emonies. Cool. Hip. 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 Cool. Apples. Oh, look at all these burbs. Yep. All common seagulls. Ooh, Sundalite. So, because it's a crystal get shrine, I'm guessing the crystal is on this island somewhere. I am thinking so simply because... Oh, jeez. Simply because... This seems like the kind of island that it would be hiding on. If it's not, I feel like a fool. It appears I feel like a fool. But where else would it be? I guess it could be anywhere down there, really. Whoa. What? Oh, okay, okay. That looks interesting. And there's another sphere! Oh, what? What? Is that? Oh, yeah, that is the Zora stuff. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm just going to continue down. I have no idea where the crystal is supposed to be. Oh. Don't tell me the crystal is on the flux construct down there, because that's a long ways down. How are you supposed to get the crystal back up here? Hello. I have things for you. Hold. What is in this gumball machine? I see lights. Steering sticks. Yes. Shock emitter! I think that's... That's the last one. I mean, that's at the very... Oops. That's at the very least the last one to fill out this 5x5. Five five. Cool. And that's the thing that I've seen used for um, basically making a, a food fishing vessel. Like a, or, um, like a very efficient... Wait, hold on. Uh, do we get everything? No, we're missing one. Uh, a very efficient fishing tactic is to get five of those... Or get a uh, shock emitter, put it on the front of your boat, and then just whoosh along. Uh, what was it? Did we get it? Homing cart. Okay. 
Homing cart with shock emitter actually would be a decent combo. Because it's just basically permanent stun lock for the enemy. More, because I just used one. Oh, I just used ten. Uh, yep. Mayam Shrine. Cool. Great Hyrule for a sky. Okay, okay. Where where is it? The beam. The crystal of the beam. Where's the be the beam is It is on the dude. How? How do I get you up here? That's such bogusness. That's so painful. All right, what what is over here? Is there some sort of something that I can grab? Oh, summer wing? Yeah, summer wing. We've already taken a picture. Uh, I don't see anything else in here that's of use. It's just go down and fight the dude. Is it like a construct two or three? Because if so, oofta, we're going to take some damage. That's a lot of damage. What's up with this one? It's here, but it doesn't seem to have a purpose. Yeep. Yeep. Does it have a hidden chest on the back side of it or something? Perhaps dangling a chest with a map in it or something? Or maybe it's just a decorative X-shaped island. And that dragonfly flew away. Uh. Okay. There's plenty of platforms over there. Oh, it's a one. Easy sauce. Easy fight. But getting it back up here is going to be a headache and a half. Especially with the battery that I have. Whoosh, please. I guess we could just use a bunch of rockets. And actually, after we kill this dude... Until the next blood moon, he shouldn't respawn, right? Wait, could I just... I probably could. Just stay up here and snipe him. I could just stay up here and snipe him. Alright. Engage, fellas. Maybe? Uh, I don't know what to fire at this guy. I want to try Hinox Toenail because we've been told by multiple sources that it does massive damage. But the thing is, he only takes damage on his arm. Oh, he's going to throw a block at me, isn't he? Oh, wow. Okay. Oop. Okay, cool. No. Okay. Uh, pull the block. Pull the hand. Pull the hand. Okay. Oop. Ow. Okay. I need to pull that off, sir. I need to. I need to murder you. So no hard feelings, but. E and almost there, almost there, almost there. And he's dead. Wow, that was very easy. Oh my word, look at all the stuff. Thank you for all the things. And he dropped a shock emitter. Cool. Uh, what do we got in terms of stick? I mean, got all this. What's something that's a decent handle but a bad top? I mean, this is fine, but... Traveler's Claim more light. We haven't really used this thing. Uh, destroy fuse material. I don't need an axe anymore. I've, I've decided I don't really need it. Whoosh. Nice. Decent damage. The question is, how do we get back up there? <laughs> That's so far up. We need rockets galore. Such a long slog. Wait, is just carrying it with Ultra Hand faster? Not really. If it is, it's not by much. Alright. There is some rockets over here inherently. Which is cool. Uh, what what is that? Oh, it's a stand bulb. Alright. 
Yoink. Can I? I can glue it. Good. Alright, so. Rocket to carry us up is good. Um, crud. How do we avoid using all the rockets at once? How do we avoid using... Can we just set them all on here and not attach them? I suppose we probably can. Hopefully. Just set them down. Can we just? Can we just? Because if we can't, uh, I'm going to have some issues very shortly. So, I think four, maybe four... Five should do it. Two for height, two for across. Because as soon as we activate this thing, this thing rises into the air and then it starts draining on my battery. So we gotta be fast no matter what we do. Here's hoping this will work. Please work. Oh dear. I just wasted two of them immediately. Okay. We're going up steadily. Uh. Okay. Okay. I probably should have had a smaller weapon. Okay. Smaller weapon is probably a good idea when we're whacking something in this close quarters. Um. Long sword. Dang it. Long sword. Dang it. Uh, that's small. There we go. More height. More height. Good. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is terrifying. And now... These two, we attach here. Right? Yes. That is the correct tra trajectory. Oh, just hanging here. Oh, geez. Nope. Hanging here in the balance is terrifying. Knowing that any second, we could come to our cataclysmic end. Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, wiggle it off. Wiggle it off. Um, wh where, where, where? Oh, right above. Right above. Perfect. Um. How do we drop it without it pinballing to everywhere? Oh, please, please don't, don't fall off the edge. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Okay, with a little rocket, with a couple of rocket power, and a little ingenuity, we got it to work. Whew. Still, I find the stress of being up here and possibly falling off so much more bearable than the depths because the depths I can't see what I'm doing and there is the possibility of stuff murking me by life steal and jump scare at every turn and that scares me infinitely more than plummeting because at least plummeting I can catch myself with a paraglider I cannot do that in the depths and of course because it's a crystal shrine it's a reward shrine thank you Raru mayam Mayam Shrine. I... I don't care, though. I don't want one of those. I'll just take my circle and leave, thank you. That should bring us up to three now, right? Kershunk? More circle for me. Wonderful. A lot of the blessing of the strength. Awesome. So, oh, a little heads up. Um, I found out, and I don't know the specifics. I can't remember the specifics. But there's, like, a good bit more shrines and Koroks in this game than there are in Breath of the Wild. Which is crazy to me. You might say it's wild. <laughs> I'll see myself out. But... Just the sheer amount of girth in to this game. It's it's restupulous. What is that way? Hold on. Where is the, the lore the lore there's a lore island? 
Oh! Hello! Uh... Light Dragon! Hello! Oh, the other one is a much better dragon. Another be a much better picture of the dragon. How you doing? Nice to see ya. What you up to? You kind of glowing. You got a big old shiny head. It's real cool, I guess. Uh, where is the lore island is my question. Is it below us? Wait, where? which direction? Yeah, it should be... Is it down there? I don't... Oh, there it is. Let's grab that lore island while we're here. Oh, and there's a shrine down there. Why don't we do that? We'll grab this a lore island and then dive down to that shrine and then teleport back up to this shrine and then probably end the episode reaching the bottom of that uh, chain of climbing aisles. Because that will be a very interesting venture for next time. Oh, right, the labyrinths. I don't know what to expect from those, but it's going to be gnarly. Uh. Ooh oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And... Whee! Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Um... Why can't I... Okay. Um, this is a terrible japes that I was not prepared for today. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. They just dropped our lore into a hole. That is so rude of them. Well, I guess we'll have to read it later. That's evil and a half. I hated that till the day I die. Uh, more whoosh, please, Tulin, as soon as you can. Thanks, bud. I can't believe they would japes us and such. Okay, I can believe it. The devs of this game do occasionally seem to be trolls. Which is commendable. I can appreciate a game de like a dev team at least having fun with their audience instead of, you know, ignoring them entirely or treating them like children to be exploited. Kakamin? Kikamin? Kikamin Shrine. Is that what I read? K-I-K-A-M-I-N? I think that's what I read. Oh. But why, though? But why, though? It's because it's next to where this place... Oh, no. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so... We gotta, we gotta get a key. We gotta get a key. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so we got a trap. We got a trap here. And a trap down there. So what do we do about that? Wh what do we do about that? Because as soon as we step across there, right, it's going to it's gonna spring a trap. That's my assumption. I guess it's just we navigate until we, can f we find a path that we can go through without getting trapped. Okay. That's my assumption anyway. Okay. Fine. Oh. Oh, okay. These ones actually move. Fine, fine. Okay. Oh, I hate it. I hate it all. 
I hate all of the things that are happening. Okay. So more smash. Oh, chest, chest, good. Good, cool chest. I suppose I don't have to hold this with ultra loop. <laughs> you think you're very funny, don't you? Okay, so I don't have to hold it in front of me with ultra hand. I can just walk with it. Though with it and with ultra hand, it feels like things are less likely to jump scare me because I can. What? Okay. Um, I'm scared about these. Because they're just kind of sitting there. Like, the fact that it's just sitting there scares me. Do I need to... Do I need to hit this? Well... It didn't immediately try to kill me. So I'm very confused as to why that's there. We got the little side quest. Oh. Hello. Uh, there was also this path over here. With the crusher. But that light up above implies that I can ascend through it. Oh, geez. Where did I turn? There we go. Oh. Do I do I step on this? Do do I block this? I'm confused. Oh. I see. So that's what that is. Oh, and there's the key. Okay, so that's that's what was my intended goal. So that other one the other, the other, oh geez, the other hole was meant to be another reward, possibly? Ostensibly, hold on, if I take this, hold it, and then rotate it, can I see what's in the ceiling? Can I see what's in the ceiling? Set it down. Aha! Can I ascend? I feel like I can ascend that. I can ascend this. Where does that put me? Oh, another reward! Cool. Oh, this is... Okay, not bad. I Oh yeah, I forgot I had a broken bow. But yeah, this shrine is really cool in principle. It's also extremely terrifying. Okay, so the crushers come out. Oh yeah, let's go back over there to where the things were just sitting still at the time. Because these seem like they're going to start moving the moment I pull that out. Right? So. Right? Nothing, nothing's happening. What is the purpose of that? I, I don't understand. Uh, best thing I can figure for this. It, can I make, oh, I can. Cool. Thank you. What is this? Amber. All right. I mean, it's a thing. It's not the coolest thing, but it's a thing. What is the story on this last thing? Okay, I don't understand why the spike's there. Uh... I... This is just more dead end, right? Yeah, I think that's more dead end. So... Oh... Lasers. 
what do they do? Why do they function? Oh! I see. So what? If I take this, it's going to start moving? Please don't. Please don't. If I touch the laser, I would assume it would start to move, but it's not. Not now, anyway. And I think we got everything we can. So let's get the heck out of Dodge, because I don't want to spend any more time in this ostensive nightmare hole. Why do they feel the need to put me outside of my comfort zone? Last episode was nothing but a long exploration of the depths. And I was scared stiff the entire time. Cool, let me through. Oh, absolute terror. But, it was cool. It was very unique as a shrine. I liked that. As much as I complain about it being absolutely awful, it was objectively very good. I like that one a lot. Because it also found an interesting way to hide stuff. Which is also cool. And because it had a unique way to hide stuff... Ooh, excuse me. It also had multiple rewards, which is nice. Now, that hole in the ground eating my lore tablet is not nice. And I can't believe... Oh, I, I, once again, I can believe. But it's so rude of them to have done that to us. Uh, so, let's teleport back up here. Because we lost our lore. We'll have to get it at a later date. I mean, technically... We could follow it down. Oh, that's what you're. Pro that's probably what you're supposed to do. Now to think about it, you're probably supposed to follow it down the hole because it had lights on it. That's meant to be your miniature light source down there. Okay, as much as I want to go to like get to the bottom of the the island chain, the climbing island chain. Where is it? Where to go? Where to come from, Cotton Eye Joe? There. Um. As much as I want to get to the bottom of that and get it started next episode, I will wait to begin that. And instead, I'm going to do a quick jump just so we can get the lore from down that hole. And then I will meet you guys down there. We will read it, take a picture of it if we can't. Oh, I guess we can't read it, but take a picture of it. You know what? I actually might even just not even bother with having you guys come along with because that's going to be a whole ordeal. If anything crazy happens, I will put it in at the end of the episode. But if it's basically just I go down there and take a picture and everything's fine and then I leave, then this will be the end of the episode. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode of Tears of the Kingdom, do the YouTube stuff down below, pop in the Discord, say hi, leave a comment, check out the Apgrin's joint channel in the description, and I will certainly see your smile soon. See ya!